Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sitting down, talking to you guys, just a little bit of a catch up. I did a Q&A on my Instagram, so I'm going to be asking all the questions that you guys popped up to me on there. And yeah, just show you guys my favourite products recently and just have a little sit down, catch up. Because it feels like ages since I've sat here and just spoken to you all. And yeah, let's go. If you've been keeping up with me on Instagram, Snapchat or anything like that, you will have seen that I have a boyfriend now. So yeah, I mean, it's not like new now, but I know it's for some people, like it is still like new information. Um, but yeah, it's going really well. And I'm very happy. He treats me so well. We get on so well together. But honestly, you guys may laugh so much because the amount of questions I have on the Q&A post about him. Serum I just used with the Cordley uh, Vino Perfect Serum. I've been really liking this. I've only had this for like a few weeks, but oh, it just sits so nice on the skin. And it doesn't peel either. So yeah, it works with most of my sunscreens and other moisturizers. This is honestly incredible. So I've been using it for the past like two weeks. <gasps> it makes my skin look so good. And it's so cute and small. Like I wanna save some of it because I'm going on holiday soon and I really wanna bring it with me. But I fear I'm gonna use it all before then. One of the questions was asking um, why I haven't like brought him on, like done videos with him yet. To be fair, because we've just been like dating and just having fun and yeah, I've not really been thinking about it, but I will post a few more bits of us together. I do really want to do a YouTube video with him soon, so keep an eye out for that. I do have some ideas that me and him have discussed that I think would just be so funny. I really want him to do my makeup as well, which I just think would be a laugh and see how much he's like picked up from like watching me do my makeup whenever we get ready to go out. <laughs> Someone asked, when did you go official? This is a very interesting question to me because I know everyone does things differently now. Um, but for me and my boyfriend, we were pretty much just like, the thing is I've never really understood the whole like waiting to put a label on it because I mean, obviously everybody's different. So no judgment there. Honestly, I'm not judging. I just think personally, once you've started getting to know someone on a certain level, like you are dating, um, I've never understood the whole like, oh, we were unofficial for this amount of time or this amount of time. Um, but everyone's different. Everyone has to do their own thing and whatever suits them. For for us, both of us were on the same page. He, I kind of left it up to him, but he was kind of like, no, I don't want to like wait to put a label on it because he was in the same mindset as me. He wasn't talking to anyone else anyway. We were both set on each other. So there was no need to like be like, oh, we're not official now, blah, blah. And then wait, because we were doing everything that a couple who have a label, if you want to say label on it would be doing, like going on dates or and stuff like that. So yeah, I think um, for us, there was no like, time period when we went official. Both official from the time we both realised we liked each other and wanted to see more of each other from the get-go, like, knew where we stood. If he didn't want to do that, then I could have, I would have gone with it as well, but I prefer it this way personally, just because I feel like you're both clear on what you want, clear on where your relationship is, and there's no like, oh, is he talking to somebody else, blah, blah, blah. Like, that is so confusing to me, and I don't know about anybody else, but like, I'm too insecure for that rubbish, so, yeah. <laughs> Again though, I'm not digging at anybody else and um, what they choose to do because at the end of the day everybody, everyone's relationship is different, your mindset's different, maybe you need time to like get used to the fact that you're seeing someone. So maybe that works for you and there are plenty of relationships that have worked doing that. I just personally, it's not something I get and I'm just grateful that he didn't either because it just makes life a bit easier when you're both on the same page about things and you're not like, oh, wondering that's one thing we've had um from the get-go is really good communication so recently i've been loving the barry m inner fix primer i don't know if i mentioned this in my last video i might have done but i think it's a really good dupe for the elf power grip they both act in the exact same way in my opinion um obviously i do love my elf as you can see it's literally been used loved this is my second one like this year but this one holds obviously a bit more product yeah i think if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper and a bit more affordable I would go for Brian because to me there's not much difference um 
and I like the fact that the Barry M does have um, camel and aloe vera extract in it, vitamin B5, all good things for your skin and very good, like I just love skincare infused makeup, you know, it just makes sense to me. Why put makeup on that's not gonna help your skin? Next question is a bit more personal, so I'm gonna keep her name private. She's asking, going through a breakup right now and I'm really struggling, how do I get past it? How do I get over him and how do I stop talking to him? I think we've all been in this position where you go through a breakup and you just are in bits and I feel like it's it's one of them things where everyone's journey with it is going to be very different you are gonna kind of want to talk to them and you're gonna want to get closure all those things I think my advice would be this is what my experience cutting them off is the best thing for you because if you don't you're not going to be able to move on properly and some people have a really annoying habit of trying to message you after the breakup um either to change your mind or um to come back if they're the ones that have ended the relationship and honestly that sets anybody back like because at the end of the day you are still going to have feelings for a little bit afterwards whether you like it or not um so you need that space I think space is the most important thing. I would suggest just remove them off social media. I know that's hard. You're gonna have no choice, but you're gonna have to. And just like, even if you have to, like remove his friends, remove his family if it got that far, like it won't be personal. It's not that deep, you know? I personally think people have a choice as to who they want on their socials, who they wanna see, who they wanna feed off. And I just don't think it's necessary. So I think remove people, do what you need to do, go out with your friends, book a holiday, do your thing. Like, yeah, just delve into something you really enjoy doing. You'd be shocked, like it really does not take much time once you've like start living your life. It worked for me. Um, and I think, yeah, just do that. And I think the more you do that, the more you're removed from the relationship and then you start thinking, actually, I didn't need it, it wasn't good for me. And you start realizing that actually you don't need him but you do need the space to be able to come to that conclusion. <laughs> Chloe asked me, will you be creating new YouTube videos on creative look soon? Yes, I will. I know I've said this before, but I really want to get back into my YouTube videos. Like I've missed sitting down just talking to you guys. Like just doing videos like this is just so nice. Like being able to talk and just do my makeup and just have a little catch up chit chat, answer your questions. It's just nice and you really can't do like long form videos on any other platform like you can here because like it's just not appreciated in the same way so yeah it's nice and i'm gonna make a real concerted effort to like make more of it what's tickling me here next product i want to show you guys is absolutely just gorgeous so my manager put me on this and i'm obsessed it's a charlotte tilbury beautiful skin sun kissed glow bronzer in shade four. Oh, <laughs> look how much product is in that pan like oh my word and it's one of those products you don't need a lot you need a little bit and at first i was like oh is it a bit dark for me no so i'm using this brush please ignore the state i i don't know what happened to the bristles but anyway um i'm just gonna dab here and it really does contour but not harshly like you just dab it on and it just creates that nice natural shadow i love it i just think it's really transformed my makeup a lot um yeah i love it you don't need a lot and i also have the powder uh, bronzer of this as well but i kind of prefer this with the juvia's place bronzing powder i think they both work better together shade wise for me beauty blender just buff out my concealer this is the Lancome concealer by the way I love this concealer I probably used it in my last YouTube video and raved about it the same way as well next question is what do you prefer foundation or skin tints I love skin tints I've been loving skin tints this year obviously I just used foundation because I thought let's go full glam for a change as also that foundation was the Mac studio fix uh fluid SPF 24 hour matte foundation um it's actually really nice and i do love using foundation still don't get me wrong like especially if i'm going out and i want to look like extra extra nice 
but there's just something about skin tints like you just look so fresh and yeah i've been obsessed with skin tints recently where is my powder i just think skin tints give you a little something natural i'm going in with the huda beauty easy bake in the shade of blondie um i love this setting powder but i bluff a lot of the excess because when it, i can't put it on like a stick as some people do um because it just bunches under my eye and just looks a bit like wrong <laughs> but look how it sets it just gives you like such a like a photoshopped blur um and i love how you don't have to use a lot to make it kind of do its thing and it's really long wearing as well there's rare times i wear this and i have to like i don't need to like use any oil control or powder after um to kind of keep it in place for blush i'd usually go for juvia's you guys know this already but i wanted to show you guys the huda beauty um liquid blushes these are the liquid beauty these are the blush filter blushes these are adorable look at the packaging this is a little like school highlighters <laughs> you know what i mean they're so cute and they're so easy to apply i swear they're like mistake proof you can just like draw them on however and just, yeah you can go i love watermelon pop this is also really nice on the lips um it's just such a fresh look i've not actually used this on top of foundation before it's mostly skin tints i've used it on so i'm intrigued to see how it works on top of foundation i should have probably put this on before i'd put setting powder on but it is what it is and just blur that out i like it because it's not too full-on either like it's quite nice and natural looking that looks so pretty i don't know why i'm surprised i literally wear this nearly every day um but i've not worn it like i did with foundation before so it helps me know that i actually possibly can wear it in a form of like face makeup look because i've just been wearing it as light makeup recently not like but you see what i mean by mistake proof it doesn't like lift your makeup at all like you can do a full face and put that on top and still look so good how cute is that tell me that's not cute you can't tell me that's not cute also how cute is this he bought me a promise ring how cute gems down the side i just love it i just love wearing it i'm just like yeah it's not we're not engaged yet tell me why i've literally not worn many other rings since he got me that as well i'm just i'm just that girl <laughs> See, right now so i was gonna set that blush but i don't want to because i like the kind of dewiness it's giving like it's just really raising my cheekbones you know what i mean so i think i'm gonna leave that this isn't new this is my dubious place um bronze bronze as you can see it's completely wrecked like i use this <laughs> every single day there's not a day that goes by that i don't use this i'm just gonna just dust it over it's a quick dusting over but yeah, I'm leaving the blush as it is because I like that dewiness. I like when you turn and the light hits it. I want to keep this makeup look quite mauve and quite like nude brownie. So I found this palette. I don't think I've ever used it, which is, I've probably swatched it, which is mental. It's the Juvia's Place Torps palette. This was not supposed to be a new makeup day, but I just saw it in the drawer and I was like, I've got to try this. Look how pretty these colours are like this these two in particular remind me of my first eyeshadow palette that i had from um avon it was one of them if anyone knows like old avon makeup <laughs> please comment because it's so nostalgic but like it was like a four, little black four color palette palette <laughs> i've got it in the drawer somewhere i kept it for nostalgic purposes i obviously don't use it because like ew but like yeah i want to find it give me a second Oh my word, I found it. This is literally my first eyeshadow palette. You see the Avon logo. True colour, maca latte. So my mum got me this and when I tell you I was happy. How old was I? I was young. <laughs> to be fair, it looks pretty good, Nick. <laughs> That's my first one. But do you see the similarities between the two? You know what I mean? Maybe I'm wrong now, I'm putting them next to each other. I don't even know what shade that was. I swear that was like a brown and I used that as like pretend liner. 
good times. Someone else asked me, has he met the family yet? Yes, he has. Um, he met my mum, he's met my sister, he's met my brothers, met my niece. Yeah, he's met everyone, gets on with everyone. I was mostly nervous for him to meet my mum, obviously because she's so important to me and I value her opinion more than anyone else. And obviously she's always, always had my best intentions at heart. So yeah, that was like the most important thing for me that was that they got on and that my mum liked him and everything's fine there, my mum loves him and they get on really well. I get on really well with his parents as well and yeah it's gone really smoothly actually and I'm really relieved by that because it's not always the case where you'll meet like in-laws and like it all goes smoothly um, but yeah we both just happen to have really good families which we're both very fortunate and feel very blessed to have. <laughs> The only reason I've done an eye makeup is because I want to show you guys this new mascara that I've been like obsessed with. The mascara is the Tartlet, so it's the Tarte Tartlet XL Tubing Mascara. Have you guys heard about Tubing Mascara? It's incredible. I have seen this going around, I've seen people doing videos all over Instagram and TikTok and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, another one. Anyway, I got this in my Sephora bag when I went to the Sephora event in Manchester. A few months back and it's been sitting in the bag i've not done anything with it until like last week i tried it and i was like honestly it makes your lashes so long it really does what it says uh, if you've read anything about tube mascara if you haven't it basically coats individual lashes and then makes your lashes obviously want to stand out more separates them better and then when you go to take it off you can just take it off with water wet your finger wipe down and literally little tubes of the mascara just wipes off and it literally does that, which I'm, I don't want to show you now because like my makeup's no done. But I just want to show you how it looks when it's on. And my lashes have definitely grown, guys. Because remember my last video I was talking about, use UK lash, blah, blah, blah. It works. My lashes are so long now. Like, they're not that long, really. But they are getting there. Look at that. I got a lot of questions on my boyfriend, so bear with me. What kind of date nights have you guys done? What date ideas? I'm trying to find good ones for me and my man to do when we need a cheap night. Honestly, I completely get this because we've been like, we've gone out so many times for our dates, but we've also done little cute dates inside just to like save money. And sometimes it's just nice to stay inside and do something. And the amount of videos I've gone through on like TikTok and stuff, we've both gone through to like look for cute date ideas. One of the cutest dates that I feel like we had was when we did like a paint and sip night. That was really cute. We've also done a pottery day. We're just going out, like going for nice walks, beach walks, nature walks, movie nights in, um, painting nights if you guys like painting together. That's one thing me and my boyfriend actually do happen to having, like we have a lot of things in common, but one thing for me, obviously you guys know I do art anyway. And I've always loved drawing and painting, all that kind of thing. And when we first met, I had no idea he had also enjoyed doing that in the past. Um, but like, obviously on getting to know each other, he knew like I liked painting as well and I like getting like, creative. Um, and yeah, he he loves doing that as well. So we've, a lot of our dates have been very like artistic based, arty based. So we've done like painting rocks and stuff like that. Just like really cute, simple things, but like, We've both enjoyed it so much. We've made so many things together. He's actually a really good artist as well. He can paint really well. So we've had a lot of fun doing that. And I feel like he's really liked open, like starting painting again. Um, Cause it's not something he obviously does for work um, or really in general. So I think he just really likes being able to do that. So that's something we really enjoyed together. So I think if you find hobbies that you both can enjoy doing, that's also a good shout but we're also both foodies so we just eat out a lot and if we're not eating out we're eating in um we're just constantly eating so yeah <laughs> cooking together is also an option we also did things like car dates like just like set up like a really cute like sitting situation in the back of the boot put the seats down went to like a really nice scenic spot was just like sitting there watching like movies on Netflix and just enjoying the scenery. There's an ice cream van as well that like popped up nearby because there's quite a few people doing this like similar thing. So yeah, things like that. I think you can do a lot of dates for cheap, 
without spending too much money. Next, not really a question, but just a message saying, not a question, but your hair looks amazing. Your mum does such a good job. Thank you so much. She does. She's incredible. And I'm a very lucky woman because having your mum to do your hair is honestly like top tier like privilege because honestly the prices out here are crazy and my mum's very creative she knows exactly what to go for she knows what will suit me and we also like trying out new things together so like i'll see a hairstyle and i'll be like should we try this and she's always like so up for it so i am very fortunate going in with the color pop so juicy lip liners these are really nice see I wasn't sure at first because it's so juicy. I was like, why is it going to be like glossy? Honestly, they're so smooth and easy to put on and I've just been obsessed and this is going to be finished in like days. So I thought I need to do a video <laughs> where I show these because it's going to be done within a week. But yeah, they line the lips so well and they're so pigmented. Um, but they're not like harsh. So easily blend out with like lipstick, lip gloss, whatever you want without looking too liney. Because I don't like liners that are really sharp and look Look at that nice lip blends. And it smells really sweet too. I'm gonna go in with a nice lip gloss in between. This is the NARS lip gloss. I've not used this much, but I just I just saw it and I was like, how pretty is that? It's so sparkly. This is the A-lister lip gloss. I just wanna see what it looks like in the center of the lip. I just, ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. Someone that's asked me thoughts would be the right video. My question is, what's your favourite makeup piece you've done on yourself? Love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. My favourite makeup piece. I really love my Disney makeup look. But that's because it took me 24 hours. And that took me so long. And I'm not going to hate it, am I? Because it took me that long. So, probably a bit biased because of the amount of time it took me. I think, second to that, I love my eye illusion. You, if you follow me for a while, you know what I mean, the one that had multiple eyes in my face. It tripped a lot of people out. A lot of people were triggered by that, but like, I loved it. And <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was one of my favorites. And then I just love doing my celeb makeup transformations. I've not done one in ages. So if you have any suggestions of who I should turn myself into next, please comment them below um, and I'll add it to my little roster. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think those two are probably my favorites. But I feel like if you laid everything out in front of me, like all of my looks and stuff, I'll be like, ah, oh, I don't know. Just because I'll know what time and effort took for each one. So yeah, that was a very good question. I'm just gonna seal the look in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. One of my favorites. It makes your makeup just look so good. I'm hoping that the fan, I've got a fan on in the background. I'm hoping it doesn't spray the spray the other way around. Um, um, and it really does seal in your makeup. I mean, you can see that I probably put a little bit too much because it's dripping, but it will dry. <laughs> and that is it for this makeup look, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope I got to answer the majority of your questions. You guys sent so many questions in actually that I'm gonna split this video and do a part two of the Q&A, but I'm gonna put the Q&A post out again. If you guys have, have any follow-up questions, anything I've already answered, um, I feel like I covered most things <laughs> and I will catch you next time in my next video and yeah don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you guys soon mwah, mwah, mwah. bye